Hi, I'm Shelly Young, founder and chef of The Chopping Block, Chicago's largest recreational cooking school. Today I'm going to teach you how to make banana bread using Fisher Chop Walnut. The recipe just has nine ingredients, so we should be able to put this together in just a snap. So the first step in making our banana bread is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We want to make sure that that oven is hot and ready to go when we want it. And I've also prepared our loaf pan. I've sprayed this with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to set that aside and we'll fill this a little bit later. Next step is to mix our dry ingredients. What we have here is two cups of all-purpose white flour, one and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna take these ingredients and combine them really thoroughly. We'll also set those aside for later use. Just like so. Now I'm gonna take our wet ingredients and get those over here so we can put those together. So now we wanna cream our butter and sugar. One half cup of unsalted softened butter. Just leave that out at room temperature, get it nice and warm. We have one cup of granulated sugar. I'm using a stand mixer today. If you don't have one of those, a hand mixer is just fine. We're gonna use a medium speed with this stand mixer because it's a little more powerful. If you've got a hand mixer, maybe a little bit lower speed. So our butter and sugar is nice and creamed. Let's look at this. What you'll see is the ingredients are well combined. It gets a little fluffy and nice and pliable. That's gonna allow the next ingredients, which are two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla, to combine a lot better. If we just put those all in together, the eggs end up outside of the mixer. So we're gonna close this, and again, over a low to medium uh, speed, we're gonna combine that. So our eggs and vanilla are thoroughly combined in with the cream, butter, and sugar. And our next step is to add the ripe bananas. Now, I've got three ripe bananas here. And what you want to look for is a good amount of brown spots on your banana. That's how you know they're ripe. So I'm going to add these, and the mixer is actually going to mash them for us. We don't need to do it in advance. So our wet ingredients are thoroughly combined. Well, the next step here is to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and we're gonna do that by adding it a third at a time. We're gonna mix it thoroughly in between each addition and scrape the sides of the bowl. And the reason we do this is so that the banana bread stays nice and tender. The more we mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together, the tougher the dough gets. And this is the same with pancakes and other quick breads. So it's a helpful hint in all your quick bread making. So let's go ahead and add about a third of this. And we'll turn our mixer on. So our last ingredient to go in the banana bread is our Fisher Chop Walnuts. We need one cup. I love how this bag stands up. Makes it easy to scoop. So we're done with our walnuts. We're gonna zip this up, keep them fresh for later. So the next step is to fold our chopped walnuts into the banana bread batter. Just wanna be careful not to overmix it here. We're gonna grab our loaf pan that we've prepared earlier. We're going to scrape that in there. Try to spread that evenly as you're, you're doing this as much as possible. And of course, we can always just go over the top, and spread it out evenly. One of the things I also like to do with a cake or a quick bread is I give it a little shake. Gets rid of the air bubbles. So the banana bread's ready to bake. We're gonna put that in the preheated oven for about 55 to 60 minutes. So let's check our banana bread. It's been in the oven now for about 55 to 60 minutes. Let's see. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's evenly brown. The bread is just coming away from the sides of the pan. Those are surefire sides, it's done. Just in case, if you're not sure, you can take a toothpick and you can stick that in just to see if that comes out clean. We're gonna take this and have it cool for about 10 minutes. So it's perfect to unmold it at this time while it's still a little bit warm. Um, I have these silicone spatula, which I love to use. Um, they're real gentle on the bread. If you don't have one, table knife is perfect as well. We're just gonna go around the sides of the pan, make sure that it's not stuck anywhere, just like so. 
And I've got a cooling rack that I'm going to invert it onto. If you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. You can do it on a cutting board or on a dinner plate. Oh, perfect. Like Just like so. I'm going to turn this back over so it doesn't get flat on the top. I'm going to let this cool completely, and then we'll come back and slice it. So our delicious banana bread has cooled completely, so time to slice it. I'm going to just run right through there. Look at that. All the nuts. So there you have it, homemade banana bread. For more delicious recipes, visit fishernuts.com.